that? <laughs> Hell yeah! Almighty. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Bubble Bassin and today we're going to be learning how to make chatterbaits. Yeah, chatterbaits. Or you can call them bladed jigs. Chatterbaits really a company. But anyways, so we're going to go through the two websites I go through to get all my stuff for chatterbaits. And then uh, I'm going to show you all how to apply all the stuff that you get for chatterbaits to make chatterbaits. But I really just call them bladed jigs, but chatterbait is the name of the company that everybody just knows and they know what a chatterbait is because it's associated with that name so uh, I can't use the name chatterbait on packaging but I can use the name you know as a sling name of like hey I used chatterbait today you know what I'm saying so uh, basically um, the two websites I use uh, is uh, do it molds and fishingskirts.com fishingskirts.com has all the pre-made tabs that you put together and uh, you can create some cool combinations. They have stuff that's uh, already you know made up, um, but you take the two different kinds of tab skirts and put them together to make your combinations. I'll show you how that works. From Do It Molds, I get the mold and the hooks to make the chatter heads. So uh, stay tuned with that. And before I get done with this little intro here, I wanted to give Sooner Fishing a shout out. And uh, I want to tell him thank you for taking time out of his day to give me a shout out in the middle of his video. And Fishing With Fits, I'm going to give you a shout out, but not a normal shout out because you get to see how chatterbaits are made. I know you love them. And you're always like, Bubba, what do you do to those chatterbaits? Well, now you get to see, buddy. So stay tuned. If you're new here, like and subscribe. And uh, hopefully you all enjoy the video. If you all have anything uh, you all want me to do in the future as videos, leave a comment down below. And we are going to get into this video. That's enough talking about a bunch of useless junk so we're going to get into the video and make it happen so stay tuned all right guys to start making chatterbaits you're going to need a hot pot or something to build lead with uh this is the hot pot too uh 500 watts and then you're going to need a arky style uh jig head mold and then you're going to need some type of protect powder paint you're going to need a blowtorch and then the Dremel tool is um, separate, like you don't need to use it, but I use this for sanding the heads down. It's quicker than uh, using sandpaper. And then I got this Irwin clamp to clamp down my, my mold back here to keep it from moving. These are Mustad Black Nickel, and the number on them is 32798BLN, and the BLN is capital letters. These are five out hooks, so this is what I use in my chatterbaits. I don't like anything less than a five out hook because they're the straight shanks. And when you get that head on there, the head actually takes up this much space of the chatterbait. So you want that extra shank back here to get, you know, that good hook set. So you want to get all these impurities off the top, all this sludgy junk. Most of the time I'll just set the mold on here to get it hot, but to speed up the process and to show y'all how this works without taking too much time, I'm going to get the torch and torch this up and, you know, get the mold hot so that way the lead doesn't stick in there when you're trying to get the bait out really quickly. Alright guys, so y'all should be wearing gloves when y'all do this, but uh, so you take your 5 out hook and you put it in right here, and you close the mold, and I take my clamp, clamp this down. And then I take this just like this, pour it right in there, let it sit for about five, six seconds. I like to get my needle nose, get this sucker out of here. 
Uh, I like to break this piece off first. And then I like to break this off, the sprue piece. That's one down. Now we're about to get to the other one here. We're going to do two three eighths and we're going to do two half ounce. Piece of sprue piece, go back in the in the fire. And now I'm gonna let this one sit because I don't want to walla I don't want to bother a hole in the back of this because it's not cured yet. So I'm gonna let it sit for about five, six seconds. And then I'm gonna put this this hook in the uh, half ounce mold. Go ahead and Clamp her up. Go ahead and get this one off the one we just set down now see that's what happens when you rush you get a hole in it but uh, if it was for me I would fish it myself but if it was for somebody else I'd chunk it See, for these chatterbaits, for these chatterbaits right here, they have like a little peg you can stick in there to put a hole in there to have a weed guard, but I don't run mine with weed guards. A lot of people um, kind of make like a little stop to stick in there to keep the hole from, you know, happening. So this doesn't happen, but this, I just bend this off. And it's an extra step that I can get rid of just by doing this really quickly. And then I gotta let this sit so I don't waller a hole. So the thing is, is not to go side to side. You wanna go up and down. You wanna go up and down first. Cause, and then you wanna go side to side. See, no hole. This one right here, we ended up getting a hole in. So that's junk. All right, so at this point in time, guys, we're gonna get the, the lead pot uh, off, you know, off the table and cut it off so that way when it's hot uh, it doesn't burn somebody or me so we're gonna go ahead and take her off here and uh, go ahead and set her somewhere I don't want Miss Miss Bailey getting burned my chocolate lab, she'll end up getting into all kinds of stuff. Hi, Bailey. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right, guys, so I'm going to plug up this Dremel. Uh, I'm just going to Dremel one for y'all to show y'all how this works. I'm not going to Dremel them all. The uh, the chatterbait heads, 
are uh, sanded and ready to roll. Uh, now we just got to uh, now we just got to heat them up and powder paint them. So what I got to do now is I got to get my black powder paint, and then I got to get uh, my torch, and I got to hold this over a flame and get it toasted right before it melts and then dip it in my powder paint and let it set for a second and then i gotta put it in the oven and bake the head so stay tuned all right so you want to make sure you take your powder paint and you want to get it light light and powdery before you stick the uh the jig head in here once you heat it up Gotta clean out the hole now. Now she's good. Now I'm gonna go set her up here to hang her. You don't wanna keep it in here too long or else it'll middle on you just like that. Here's the jig heads. Uh, before I uh, stick them in the oven to cook them, I gotta break the paint out of the eyelets with this special uh, eye breaker. If you don't do this when you heat them up in the uh, oven, the uh, paint will dry over the eye and you cannot get it out unless you drill it out. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt. See? Now we gotta go stick them in the oven for uh, 20 minutes. Say hi to Bailey, guys. Hi, Bailey. So now we gotta go to the toaster oven here. All right, so I got my two jig heads uh, in the uh, oven because I messed up the other two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake this thing for 30 minutes and it's on broil. I think you're supposed to do 350 degrees. Yep, right there. All right, so stay tuned. We're gonna get these baked and then I'll show you all the other steps. Take this little rubber band out of the little rubber band bag from fishingskirts.com. Take your skirt tool and uh, you slide it on here just like this. Yeah, so what you do is you just drop it nice and gently and that's good for it. So that's how you put that rubber band on there. So what I like to do is take a full tab of black skirt and break it in half just like this one. And you thread all your skirts on just like this. And you tuck this little, uh, this little pin right here and pull this in it sucks the skirt in the uh, skirt tool you slide the band right on the skirt you get your length length like you want and then voila you got a custom made skirt and then now what I got to do is uh, I got to take the head the jig head here and I got to put a split ring on the eyelet and attach the split ring to the blade. All 
All right, so we finally got the blade on here. It was extremely frustrating. For some reason, this one was not cooperating. All right, guys, so we're putting a snap on the uh, blade here. Just like that. And there you go. That's the chatter head with the chatter blade. Uh, the short end of where the rubber band is on the skirt. Uh, I like to put that on the bottom, and I like to leave the long stuff up top. So... What you do is you just feed this through the bottom of the rubber band, push this all the way up on the head here, as far as possible. And what you wanna do is you wanna get you some scissors and cut the tabs off of this. So you just take each tab like this, And then there you go. I got a chatterbait, guys. That's pretty much how you do it. But I'm gonna spin this whole skirt and everything around so that way the black part of the skirt is up top where it's kind of like a, an actual like fish. Uh, if I forgot anything, just comment down below and I'll try to help y'all out with, you know, if y'all wanna do something like this on your own. But um, there's another guy that does great stuff like this. Uh, his name is That Guy Skimpy. Uh, his, his Bait making is way better than mine, and uh, I can leave his link down in the description below. But if you're new here and uh, uh, you like the video, just hit the like and subscribe button. Help me out. Uh, like I said, I tried my best to show y'all what I usually do. I mean, it's all trial and error. I normally just do bait breakdowns, bait reviews, and then obviously fishing videos and monster bass. But um, there's a uh, patent on uh, taking the eye of the hook and putting it on the blade for the bladed jig. That's why they use a split ring. Positive, I left something out. So, uh, if y'all could in the comments, just correct me if you if you if I missed a step somewhere that y'all need to have a step uh, repeated, or you know I could just comment and help y'all out at the bottom. So.